up guys, this is me African Hair God. I wanted to take the time to make this video just to kind of share my experience at State Board. Um, I did take my State Board test. I did pass both my written and my practical um, for the Georgia State Board Master Cosmetology License. Currently applied for the license, waiting for the review and everything, so that's still pending, but it's just a waiting game at this point. But um, yeah, I wanted to make this video just to um, help future cosmetologists because I know I have a lot of um, people that are in beauty school that watch my channel. I um, mean a lot of times back when I was in beauty school when people would talk about state board we would get this sense of uneasiness of, of just not knowing what to expect because you would have some people say it's easy, some people saying it's hard and it was just like you know we really just didn't know what to expect and that was really the scary part so I want to make this video for y'all just to kind of let y'all know what to expect help y'all be a little bit more prepared and also just ideally pass state board so yeah hope this helps so first things first state board was relatively easy and I say relatively easy because if you go in there knowing what to expect then you won't be surprised everything will just happen the way that you expect it to and you'll do everything the way that you know you should and yeah it's really not that hard to pass um, as long as you know what you're doing, how you're doing it, and how you're going to do it. They do outline everything on their PSI website, so make sure you go through the PSI website for your state, read over all the information. They have the outline for all the portions of the test. Um, they tell you exactly what they're looking for, um, exactly what's expected of you, so there's no question about that. But I guess the scary part for a lot of um, beauty school students is that we don't know what the whole environment and atmosphere is going to be like. So I'm going to explain that as well. My state board kit. So I shared a picture of my state board kit on Instagram and a lot of people were really impressed with how neat and organized everything was. And I wish I could take credit for that, but no, I did not. I actually paid to have a pre-prepared state board kit put together for me by the company Cosmobutica, which I ordered online. They basically prepare state board kits specific to each state in the United States. So, you know, each state, it varies on what you're tested on and what's expected of you at your practical at state board. And they give you all the supplies, pretty, not all of the supplies, but the majority of the supplies that you would need for state board. So for me, they provided 10 bags, which included the client safety sanitation blood spill, the thermal curling iron, the hair cutting, the chemical permanent waving, the virgin hair lightening, the hair color retouch, chemical relaxer, relaxer retouch, facial, and sculpture nail um, bags for state board. So they give you your client safety sanitation blood spill and they also give you of course each portion of state board. Now with the sculpture nail, the sculpture nail bag was actually the most expensive out of all the bags. But the crazy thing is that you really don't need all the materials in that sculpture nail bag, at least in the state of Georgia, because we don't really do a full manicure. We only do one sculpture nail. So a lot of those materials you're not even going to use. You can literally set them aside. But, I mean, it's nice to have, you know, after state board if you're into nails and stuff. Um, all together, everything costs me, the kit itself costs $129. I did purchase a um, hair cutting razor and blades for $6.99. And um, with shipping and all of that, it came out to $156.74, which is moderately priced. They do list out everything that they put in the bags and stuff so that you know what to expect. Um, and of course, it probably would be cheaper for you to go and put your kit together yourself but for me I just didn't want to take the time away from me studying and preparing for state board to sit there and worry about getting all the supplies together and bagging and labeling and making sure everything is right so you know they give you almost everything that you need for state board it's prepackaged they take all that stress away so for me it was just a convenience thing and I had the money so I went for it um, they don't give you a uh, thermal curling iron they don't give you the hair cutting razor or the hair cutting shears and they don't give you a mannequin, but you can purchase all of those materials separately. So when you get your Cosmobutica kit, it's your responsibility to go through all the materials of the kit, make sure everything is there, and also make sure that everything is properly labeled, and just be familiar with everything that's in these bags, because you don't want to go to State Board and you don't know what you're pulling out and you don't know what you need or you don't know that you're missing something. So just make sure that you
you go through and inspect everything within the bags. Everything was pretty much packaged fairly well. There was just a couple of mix-ups in my bags, um, particularly the Virgin Hair Lightning and Hair Color Retouch. They had the hair bleach and the hair color, the simulated hair color mixed up so they were in the wrong bags which really isn't that big of a deal but if you have a, have a proctor that's real specific and particular they're going to look at those and see those and probably take points off um, because they're going to think you don't know what section you're doing you can't do a hair lightener with hair color it doesn't work um, also they had the hair color the two hair color sections and the two relaxer sections in two separate bags each. That doesn't make sense for Georgia State Board practical exams because you basically do both the color sections back to back and you do the relaxer sections back to back. So you only have one time to go in and prepare for both sections of the color and one time to prepare for both sections of the relaxer. So it makes sense to put the two materials for both the hair lightener and hair color retouch in one bag as well as the relaxer virgin and relaxer retouch in one bag as well so I made sure I did that prior to going to state board had I not done that it probably would have not been a very good situation for me at state board and I probably would have been a little bit stressed out everything is labeled including your um, sculpture nail monomer and polymer which is something that they look for at state board it was very unfortunate while we were testing there that one of the um, candidates she didn't have her monomer labeled so you can't make a sculpture nail without monomer and polymer and of course they're not going to let you use your monomer if it's not labeled or your polymer so they told her that she basically had to basically do the best she could with what she had without using that monomer so basically she essentially failed that sculpture nail portion so that's something that I would mention to y'all that are taking state board just go through your information on the PSI website they list everything from the outline of the uh, portions of the exam to things that you can expect and important information for candidates to know make sure that you read all that information up and down left and right so that you know what is expected of you before you go there so that you do not you know just make yourself fail automatically so that's my state board kit now when you actually um, register to take your test and set the dates up you have to take a written portion of the exam and the practical portion of the exam and you cannot take both exams on the same day which I think is just really stupid but yeah they don't let you do that so I end up taking my written portion on um, the week before my birthday on Tuesday um, the written portion I forgot how long that section is or how much time they give you but it is uh, basically a test that you take online just as if you would when you're taking your driver's test it's 110 questions they're basically testing you on all the concepts throughout cosmetology if you're taking the master cosmetology test master cosmetology I can't speak they basically grab bang out of each of those broad concepts of cosmetology so a lot of the questions dealt with understanding sanitation and the levels of disinfectant and sanitation and um, sterilization um, also a lot of the questions came from nails um, makeup which was really odd to me because we didn't learn a lot of makeup in um, Empire Beauty School not a lot of hair questions believe it or not um, not a lot of hair cutting not a lot of hair questions I noticed a couple of questions about electricity and things like that and understanding pH and blah 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 but not a lot of specific hair questions that you probably would expect. For me to study, um, Empire Beauty School gave us a study guide booklet. Uh, I don't think they make that booklet anymore because they've updated their textbooks so I don't really have any suggestions for current um, Empire Beauty School students. But um, basically that booklet took all the major concepts out of our textbook, put it in a multiple question test form, the same way they did on the uh, written portion of the test, and that's what I used to study. I didn't study it that hard, but I'm a good test taker, and I retain information really well, so I remembered a lot of the stuff that I studied while at beauty school, so it wasn't really hard for me to remember those same concepts. Now, if you're not like me, Definitely take time to go through your textbook and go through that study guide or whatever you have to study for that written portion because they're going to grab out of random sections out of your textbook. So just be prepared for that. 
prior to taking the test for both written and practical, they have you sit in this room and they go through the roll call, they call your name, they take your picture, identify you with your um, forms of identification, make sure that you don't have your cell phone on you and that your cell phone doesn't go off if you do have it on you. If they find out that you have your cell phone on you, they are liable to basically kick you out the test and make you fail. So don't even set yourself up for failure for that. It was basically a small room of about 10 people. For the written portion, it was maybe 15 people in the room. For the practical, they had like maybe 12 people um, assigned to take the test, but only like 10 showed up. So don't be too nervous about being around a bunch of people. The written portion went by fairly quick. I finished it in about 30 to 40 minutes, and I passed with a 93. The practical took a while longer. It took about two and a half to three hours to finish. And I got an 83 on that portion. Now, the numbers don't really matter. The only thing that you're really concerned with is passing. So you just want to make sure that you do everything that you can to get the highest score possible so that you can pass. Because there have been people that have failed by just missing one point off of passing. So don't be nervous. Like I said, everything is on the PSI website, everything is outlined, everything is prepared for you as long as you practice, take time and drill, time yourself because that time on that practical, that time goes by real quick. Two and a half hours might seem like a long time, but trust me, when you got 30 minutes to do a haircut, it goes by real quick, okay? When you got two minutes to set up, it goes by real quick. I would say practice setting up your station in two minutes because two minutes flies by, okay? Also, when you're taking your practical exam, there are going to be people from different schools and they're going to be taught different things. So the way that you were taught to do state board is going to be different from how they were taught to do state board. So don't pay attention to what everyone else is doing. Just focus on you and what you're doing and just know everything that you're supposed to do and stick with that and just be self-assured and not depend on the people around you. They're going to, when you're doing your haircut, for example, I was doing my haircut and there were people that were practically finished with their haircut and I was only 40% done by the time time ran out. So, you know, it doesn't matter. That's not what they're looking for. They are really looking for client safety, sanitation, and infection control procedures. That's what they're looking for. And that's basically it. So, you know, don't go in there, extra scare, anything like that. When you really think about it, State board is nothing more than like taking your driver's test. It's the same thing. When you got your permit, you took a, a test on the computer. When you got your license, you went you took a practical and took a driving test. It's the same thing. Does having a license mean you can drive? No. Because everyone on the roads in Atlanta does not need to have a license. But they do and they are legally allowed to drive. Same thing with having a license for cosmetology. So your mannequins, make sure that your mannequins are not marked, they don't have your name on it or anything like that, they won't allow you to use it, um, it's considered a form of cheating. Oh, make sure that you sanitize your hands prior to each section, again they are looking for that, making sure that you are being very sanitary before you handle your client or touch your utensils and things like that. Make sure you dress comfortable, the room might be cold or the room might be really warm. Either way it goes, you're not allowed to take off layers or anything like that. State board is really simple as long as you know what to do and what to expect. So don't be scared about it. Be self-assured. And no, be confident in yourself and what you're doing at state board. And you'll pass. That's it. So I hope this video has helped. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. And I'll be sure to answer them as I get them. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, be blessed. Bye.